Hi everybody, it's Heather at Little Bird Live. This is to show you the progress on the reroute of the Monster High Doll Laguna Blue. As you can see, I'm part way through and it takes quite a while to do. That's how much I've done, so I've still got plenty to do. And just to give you an idea of how much hair you need if you're going to be rerouting using um, this style, this is how much hair is already on the doll. I bought a pack from Navy Blue Navel and it's half an ounce and in that pack I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these little um, lengths. Uh, what, I'm not sure what you'd call them. So I've been taking one of these apart um, into tiny little plugs and putting it into the doll and that's how much has gone in so far. So there you go, that should give you an idea of how much hair you need. I'm, I'm thinking this pack might actually do the doll so um, where I was a little bit worried it wouldn't be enough to do the doll but it seems to be okay so I'm going to continue with that now um, and just show you the process that I've been using. So I used a little bit of water on the end to make tiny little plugs. Now obviously the hair is slightly different lengths so it can still pull out a little bit at this stage. So where I need the hair to be shorter I've just been doubling up like that and using it like that. Okay. So. can see why the doll artists use synthetic by because it would be so much easier to work with because this sort of fragments quite easily so basically I'm just pushing the strands and as you can see when you sort of stroke it it comes apart because the hair fibres are different lengths naturally so it can be difficult to make a plug the hair. See it falls to pieces really easily. Which is why you get fibres everywhere. 
when you brush your dolls or play with your doll's hair if they've got alpaca e roots. Now obviously the commercial dolls you buy, the ones from the artist, will be much better than this one. This is just me having a play. And I will be gluing it inside as well. Now, there you go. That gives you an idea. So it's very slow going, but I think it's going to look beautiful when it's done. It's a lovely colour. So there you go, just to give you an idea. Okay, so I've finished rerouting. This is the finished article. Obviously the hair needs sort of teasing into shape. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is add some glue into the head cavity and spread that around so that it keeps the hair in place. I've sort of pulled it very lightly and it does remove some of the hair, including some, oh excuse that, Tina. Um, it does remove some of the hair, as you can see here. So it's quite fluffy. So I'm left with a bag of fluffy bits. Now I have used pretty much the whole half an ounce of the ultramarine on this monster high so basically that's how much hair you're going to need if you're going to do a monster high head so i'm now going to add some glue That's that done then. So now I'll set that aside and let it dry. Right everybody, the glue that I've put inside the doll head is now dry. If I keep pulling on the hair, the fluff will still come off the end. So that's certainly something to be aware of see so i could still amass a ball of fluff on it so it's not it's certainly not the sort of hair i would be able to brush um a few pointers from this whole exercise because it took ages to do um i did use the guide holes in the head um one thing i would say when if you use an alpaca is on the it comes in sort of little um, almost little ponytails that were wrapped up um, I got much better um, 
I, it was easier to use rather when I snipped the top of the ponytail off to get the top of the hair all level because the problem is all the hair when it was all in one sort of ponytail the hair was in different lengths so there's so many fibres in there and it was all in different lengths so when I pulled it apart to make the little plugs to go in um, often they it would just it would just fall to pieces I'd put it in and then so much of it was in a shorter length that it would just pull out again so I found when I snipped the top of it to make it level to make it all one the top of the um, hair all the same length it was easier to do because at least the top then was it, it wasn't going to fall to pieces I don't know whether that's clear whether you understand what I'm saying but I found that that did help um, I used a whole um, half an ounce that I bought from navy blue navel um, and I think it looks really nice I really like the effect and the next stage will be to now cover the hair um, completely so that I'm able to spray the face with Mr Super Clear and then I will um, draw a new face on her so that's the next stage in this particular process